I just prank called Alex's sister. She didn't sound too pleased. <laughs> Cheers. Hello guys, where are you? David DeFranco here. DavidDeFranco.com with the weekend of Lock and See Vlog. Actually, my first weekend vlog ever using the Canon 80D. This camera, it's not light. But last night I was thinking, you know what? I love my camcorder, but I really miss that depth of field effect. So I grabbed my Canon G7X, put in a battery, but then I couldn't find the battery charger. And yes, I realized you could probably just plug the camera in itself, but I'm not gonna do that between battery charges. That's just a waste of time. So here we are with the Canon 80D. Also, I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro, excellent microphone, but there is one caveat to keep in mind. Caveat's a good word, and it's a word I rarely use. And that caveat is this. Because the Rode VideoMic Pro is a shotgun microphone, it means it's designed to capture audio directly in front of the camera. So I'm standing behind it, and while my audio might sound a little muddy, but I did a little quick test recording, previewed it on my Mac Pro, and I gotta say, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's good enough. So this is the camera I'm using this weekend. I just wanted to try something a little unique. The next week, I'll probably be going back to what? The GoPro, my camcorder, and eventually a new point and shoot. But that's not happening until after I buy my TV and everything. And speaking of TV in my living room, I have a lot of things to say about gaming this weekend. So just a heads up. But my fellow gamers, I'm sure you'll appreciate everything I have to say. It's all good stuff. So let the day begin with some coffee. Get in there. So today's agenda, I have a Skype call at 2 p.m. with a client regarding a complete redesign of a Squarespace website. Awesome, I love me some Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace a lot lately. And besides that, Nothing else, I mean, that's really all I have going on today. Yesterday was a good day. It was my second day working with Munchpack on Snapchat and Facebook. I think it was a huge success. I posted on Snapchat 13 times and I streamed on Facebook for one hour. And I think I made some conversions, which makes me happy because that means I'm a good ambassador. So Nintendo, if you're watching, come on, sign me up. I'm waiting. I promise you, I will make it worth it. I will become a very good ambassador for you guys. I will get the word out about your brand, your products, your services, especially with the switch around the corner like about a month from now. That's crazy. But I'm not gonna suck up, I'm not gonna suck up. I'm going to organically wait and see if anything comes out of this. By the way, have you noticed my new door? Look at that. It's so nice, I love it. Yep, Lowe's was here this weekend and installed three new doors, one of them being this one. And guys, let me tell you, it's incredible. I've never loved a door so much. Probably because I know this is my door. This is my house. I own this door. I paid for it. So it's kind of a different feeling when you actually buy a door. As weird as that sounds, I don't know. Maybe my fellow homeowners can appreciate that. And like I said, we did get three doors installed. That's just one of them. The other one is right there, the front door. Boom. And the other one is right over here. Ignore the mess, ignore the mess. I'm in the process of doing things right there. The Mr. Pants door, I like to call it. And speaking of Mr. Pants, I have some bad news. He's okay, he's healthy, don't worry, it's not that. It's just the fact that I don't think the parentals are coming to Strasbourg this weekend. It's sad, it sucks, because I look forward to seeing them this weekend. I mean, it's not entirely bad because the hangout's tomorrow night anyway. And while well, I'm going to be playing a lot of Resident Evil 7 this weekend as well, that's another thing I want to talk to you about, my fellow gamers. Awesome game. Awesome, awesome game. So the reason they're not coming this weekend is because, unfortunately, Fireball had to go to the vet, I think, Tuesday with a urinary tract infection. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious. My dad caught it early. So he's taking medication. He's doing better already. But my parents have to keep an eye on him. Just in case, because things can go wrong just like that with pets, as you probably know. And yet, they could probably take the chance and leave them home, but why even take that chance? We love Fireball. And yes, there's the option of bringing him here, but that would only stress him out because he's never been here before. So, it is what it is. It's not all bad. You guys can look at this face all weekend. Okay, maybe that's pretty bad. 
but I promise you I'm going to keep it interesting. I may not be doing my usual Target visit and stuff like that, but I will be keeping it interesting. I'm going to try anyway. I mean, guys, come on. With a face like this on the vlog, how could things not be interesting? Yeah, you, Maui. Let me focus on you. There you go. Sexy key. He is not amused. All right. Focus, David. Make some coffee. And that's me today. A good day. Including cleaning my stove. That's long overdue. And I will be cooking tonight. I love you, brothers. I love you, Sheets. I love you, Wawa. But tonight I will be cooking some kind of chicken and broccoli Velveeta dish. Sounds banging. And I've had some of those Velveeta meals in the past. And they're really good. Especially chicken Alfredo. Is that what I love? I'm pretty sure. That stuff is so good. I have a few things I gotta get done before my Skype call out too. And then we'll take it from there. It's gonna be a big project coming up. Mm. And speaking of Squarespace, I've been getting a lot of work done on the redesign of my personal website. Yes, imagine that. Me, David Franco, in a new year, redesigning my personal website yet again. I say that for a reason, because it's kind of like an annual tradition of mine. But I love it. It kind of keeps things fresh. And actually, it gives me ideas for other projects. Because, well, with my personal website, I can literally do anything I want with it. So in a way, redesigning my personal website is giving me ideas for the relaunch, well, the redesign of DFU. Which isn't happening until at least March. That is still in its very early stages. So I figure for now, I will redesign my personal website just to keep myself busy. Noisy floor. This quality is really good though, isn't it? Look at this, the depth of field. As long as you're in front of like natural light or just lights in general, look at this. Well, the camera's so big too that it like actually blocks light, ironically, so that's something you have to keep in mind. And stop looking at yourself in the screen, David. That's why Casey Neistat, my favorite vlogger, wears glasses in case they didn't know. So that way he can, well, sunglasses, so he can constantly check the screen and you guys wouldn't even know because you can't see his eyes. I think that's pretty clever if you ask me. You? I do love my coffee. Hey, Mau Mau. What's up? Go ahead, jump up like you usually do. You sanitary cat, you. There you go, Maui. I will give you your natural light back. Upstairs, rear door. Yeah, you love it, you love it. Don't deny it. Come on, jump down. Good boy. Yeah, enjoy. And eventually, that g looking deck will be completely redone. That's an upcoming spring project. But for now, this door is an awesome, awesome start. Look at all that natural light coming in. This is hot, this is hot. This is very freaking hot. Oh my God, I'm going to hurt myself. <sighs> I'm okay, guys, I'm okay. Man up, David. By the way, look at these new Apple TV screensavers. They are downright beautiful. I love them. All right, I can put the iPad Prizzle away. I was using it yesterday to watch Mac Break Weekly. And yeah, I could easily do that on my MacBook Pro, but that's the beauty of owning all, this, all these gadgets. You gotta balance them out. And put it right here in the charging shelf. Also temporary. I'm telling you guys, my office is gonna be a completely different look. Well, okay, maybe not my office, but my living room changes will definitely have an effect on my office changes. Also yesterday, for the first time ever, last night, a video of mine hit 1 million views. My iPhone success unboxing, awesome guys. Thank you so much for your support. Seriously, that made me extremely happy last night. It only took me 10 years, but one of my videos finally hit a million views. And it hit it in like a year, which says a lot. That video kind of blew up overnight, which is amazing. Right there, 1,402,000 views. Just incredible. Shout out to Pancho Joshi on Facebook for going out of his way to alert me about the 
uh, Switch Pro Controller going live, you know, the pre-order on BestBuy.com because this thing has been near impossible to find. And it goes like that. I guarantee you it's gonna be sold out in a few minutes on BestBuy.com. But I got it, I pre-ordered it right away. Poncho, dude, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. So now I'm good. Switch is pre-ordered, Pro Controller is pre-ordered, Zelda is pre-ordered, and Super Bomberman R is pre-ordered. As well as, um, what else did I buy? Oh yeah, the PDP premium console case for the Switch, which I won't be using that often, but I figured I need some kind of case. So that is cool. So I'm set. I mean, who knows? I might even throw in another pre-order for a game because the games are easy to find. They can print as many discs as they want, but when it comes to hardware like the Switch and the Pro Controller, obviously the uh, manufacturing process is a lot slower than printing discs. So that is awesome. As sad as this is, that kind of just made my day. If that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a geek at heart, a gamer at heart. So that means a lot to me that I will be completely ready on day one, March 3rd. I can't wait. One month ago, one month ago. That's not too bad. And I just got some bills paid, paid my water bill. Well, it's over there. I got a ticket to the post office. Actually, I've never been to the post office in this town yet, but it's right across the street from Rudders. So after my Skype call, I'm gonna go over there and drop that off at the post office. So for now, I will have this extremely low quality and cheap lunch. But you know what? These things are actually pretty good. They're like, what, 69 cents at Target? 65 cents, 80 cents, I'm not sure. But it's less than a dollar. So check them out. Mmm, only the best for me, right? I'm kidding. It's actually pretty good. It's actually very good for the price. It's been too long. It has been too long, my friend. About a half hour until my Skype call. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. I don't see any snow in the forecast, but we're getting a little bit of flurries right now. Is it worth showing a video? I don't know. If anything, this is my excuse to get a nice wide angle shot of my backyard. Look at that. This camera does a fantastic job. A little cold out too, 41 degrees. I guess it's technically cold enough for flurries, but don't count on anything so exciting, right, Mau Mau? <laughs> That's a bit dramatic. Always lock up. You good? There you go, Maui. You are free to look outside and chill. Mau Mau, come here. No? All right. 154. It's about time for a Skype call. Just got off my Skype call. Mr. Banther, it was very nice to talk to you again. I know it's been a while, we get caught up in life. Come on! Let me remove my yellow snowball microphone. Look at this thing. Awesome mic, but man, it has seen some color changes. Let's just say it's white balance is not what it used to be. Thank you though, Sully. Seriously, since 2008, this is still my primary microphone. We're going on 10 years soon. 10 years! Hey, it's a great mic. But in the meantime, I do hide it under my eye shrine while I'm not using it. Simply because I don't like clutter on my desk. Hey, do you blame me? All right. Time to head up the post office and then go to Rudders. Or maybe Rudders first, post office second. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're right near each other. Maui? I'll be back soon, all right? You enjoy your chill time. You get it, chill bag? And I'm gonna play some Resident Evil 7 soon, which, by the way, I still have to talk about. Amazing game. I have a lot to say. Mostly good, mostly good, don't worry. This depth of field is pretty nice. Yeah, I love it. And it's not too blurry because this is a wide angle lens, but if I zoom in, watch. There you go. But that's just creepy, so let's zoom out. Silence. My car actually has pretty decent bass. Can I just say this one more time? I've said this so many times in the past, but I am so thankful for actually living near places. Of course, some buggy just went by. That never gets old. At least it hasn't gotten old yet. Anyway, I just went to Rudders, the post office, and Beer Mart. 
all within like 0 .001 miles. That's how close everything is. Got mozzarella sticks in a bag from Rudders. Didn't really plan on that, but they just made these like 20 minutes ago, so I figured why not save some time. I was gonna get pizza because I didn't have enough for lunch, and the pizza at Rudders is actually really good. But then I saw those on the warmer, I'm like, eh, save time. Of course, I got a side of marinara. And back here, check it out Twisted Tea. 12 of them. PA did just pass the law where stores can sell six packs, like at Beer Mart and Rudders. I'm pretty sure people at Rudders were talking about beer sales. Like, they had a little meeting going on, and they kept pointing over at the beer, not beer cave, that's a Sheets trademark, but, like, the beer place, um, you know, the section within Rudders. So I'm hoping we'll get six-pack sales at Rudders soon. Imagine the convenience. You go there for a pizza and a coffee and a six-pack of Twisted Tea or Strongbow. Amazing. And I also went to the post office. Yeah, I paid my water bill. And Danny Minnick, I finally sent you that lightsaber thing. It's, it's not, not even a lightsaber, but that saber-like thing. I forget. You know, that thing from 1UP Box. Anyway, you should be getting it in a couple days. All right, I'm going to go inside, eat another lunch, and then hopefully jump into some Resident Evil 7. Fear comes out. It's a good game. You know, I got to say, mozzarella sticks at Runners? They're not bad. This isn't my first time having them. It's probably like my fifth or sixth. I'm just saying, if you guys are thinking about going to Rudders and you're in the mood for mozzarella sticks, have them. You probably will not be disappointed. Mmm. I'm gonna cheese. Okay, before I get into Resident Evil 7, I don't usually play games this early, but it's Friday. Honestly, I don't have too much going on today, so I want some chill time to myself. And plus, we're gonna be playing GTA tonight, which should be, which takes up, like, Four or five hours, so I definitely want to get some good quality RE7 time in. And no, Mary, I could not finish an entire 12-pack of Twisted Teas in one night. I would get so sick. I'd, I'd probably pass out. Okay, so here we go. I have a few packages to open. I think these two are from viewers, so let me get these done. Prioritize, right? I have no idea what they could be. Whoa! Whoa! It's a Mr. Coffee warmer. Nicole McGlone, right? Nicole, I believe you sent me one of these a while ago. Now this one's different to whoever sent me this one. So I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. I'm just saying I do have one, but this one looks newer, which is really cool. And this is from Amanda. Amanda says, hi David, I've been watching your vlogs for a while now, and I'm not sure if you've tried one of these or not, but I wanted to send one anyway. Works best with an already hot cup. Enjoy from Amanda. Amanda, yes, I have tried these. They actually work great. And like I said, this one actually looks better. It looks newer. So very cool. Definitely something I could use. Is it USB? If not, I could I could make it USB. Actually, I have plenty of USB adapters. I could just... Anyway, Amanda, thank you. If you want any links below, let me know. I appreciate this. <laughs> okay. Um, next. What is this madness? Well, let's find out. Yes, I love easy pull tabs. Well, of course they made it not so easy because I had to pull it off like that. I can't open things like a human being, apparently. Really strong adhesive. Oh, I see Titanic. I see Titan. Oh, Mary, this is from you? Happy Valentine's Day. I can't imagine my life without you and it. Love, Mary. Oh, Mary, thank you very much. That's very, very nice of you. Wait a minute. This isn't vinyl, is it? It is vinyl. Mary, are you crazy? Thank you very much. That is so incredibly nice of you. I was not expecting this at all. Oh my god, it's heavy too. This is really, really nice. 180 gram audiophile vinyl. Very cool. First time on vinyl, the multiple award winning soundtrack includes booklet, poster, and replica of New York Times cover. Mary, thank you so much. Guys, you need to check out Mary's channel. She's an incredibly gifted artist. Check her out right below. Subscribe. You'll be glad you did. Mary, this is so cool. Thank you. I was not expecting that at all. Now, this is a review product, man, all these packages, I love it, called Monk. I'm going to take up smoking. Not really, 
but it's gonna look like I'm taking up smoking. Do not smoke, it's bad for you. Seriously, don't smoke. This is called Monk. It's basically an organic, like, infuser or something. Jesus Christmas. Oh my God, they smell amazing. So this is orange and this is lemon. Well, I'll go, okay, hold on, here we go. This is lemon, ginger, and spearmint. It's three flavors, I guess. And this is orange, lang lang, and frankincense. Breathe natural clarity, breathe natural inspiration. So if I'm looking for inspiration, I basically take like two or three puffs of this and if I'm looking for, what was it, clarity, I take two or three puffs of this every day. That's really cool. So this is an incredibly unique product. Monk, feel nature. So breathe, remove your diffuser from its package by popping off the rubber end of the white tube. Oh. All right, so that comes off. All right, so here we go. I took it out of this paper, which I didn't know you were supposed to do. So, here we go. This is very interesting. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> All right, it actually tastes lemony. Again, let me make this clear, this is not smoking. This is not some type of illegal drug either. This is completely organic, completely natural, and it is good for you. So you just put it back in a little case, I guess. Yeah. And you can close it just to protect it. That's really cool. I'm feeling inspired already. I don't know. It's obviously going to take a little bit of time, but it tastes good. Like it doesn't taste bad. It feels like I put like a very subtle mint on my tongue. And you're getting that like cool sensation in your nose. So very nice. I will talk about this in detail. Actually, these in detail. They're not really that cheap. I mean, one of these is 20 bucks. But don't forget, you're um, using them two to three times a day, but with two to three breaths each. So one, in theory, should last you as long as a month. So I don't think that's bad. $20 a month for clarity, inspiration, anything. And they have other flavors too. Check out Monk. I don't know if it's monk.com, but I'll definitely link them right below. But of course, look for more information on these in the very near future. So thank you very much, Monk, for making this possible. Thank you to everyone for making all this possible. You're the best. I feel relaxed, that's for sure. I feel like a slight high. I don't know, now, now. Maybe like a slight buzz, like I'm drunk. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I definitely feel like mellowed out. One big recommendation, do not take like five puffs of that monk thing and then drive. Do not drive. Because, well, right now, I do not feel comfortable driving. I just don't. But I already went out. Maybe I'm being dramatic, I don't know. Maybe I didn't eat enough today. Maybe it's my fault. Low light definitely sucks during video. I gotta, I gotta fix that. But hey, it is what it is. I'm in for the rest of the night. I'm gonna chill, play Resident Evil 7, and enjoy my coffee. I swear, I don't update you on like every single small detail of my life, but I, I, do, I do like to update you on certain things like gaming and coffee and whatever. I feel weird. I think Maui wants food. It's time to eat? Yeah? You're a good boy. Here, let's do a focus test. Not bad. That's actually really good. Maui, look at us. Hey, Mal. Do I bore you? No? All right. It's time for Resident Evil 7. Okay, so while I'm here, I might as well jump into my RE7 little tidbit of this weekend of Logity Vlog. For those who care, here we go. Resident Evil 7, I gotta say, I am absolutely loving the new direction they're taking things in. I understand why many people are upset, 
But you also have to keep in mind, guys, Resident Evil has not been the same in years. I mean, what, since Resident Evil 3? That was the last traditional Resident Evil in my eyes. RE4, they took things in a completely new direction, which at first I was mad about, but then I loved it. Because while it actually turned out to be a really good game, in my opinion, of course, this is completely relative to one's interests and experiences and all that stuff. Then after Resident Evil 4, I gotta be honest, I just lost interest. The series overall just felt boring to me. I'm pretty sure I recall playing a Resident Evil demo, like maybe Resident Evil 5 or Resident Evil 6. I, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. I just completely lost interest in the series until Resident Evil 7 came along. Why? Because it feels so much like freaking PT. And I loved PT. Shame on you, Konami, for canceling Silent Hills. How dare you? Seriously, I was so excited about that game. But you know what? It doesn't matter now because Capcom came in and just kind of stole the show, right? Because it's like PT. You got that first person, terrifying, atmospheric car. Like, look, just listen to this. It's so good. So anyway, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Mute. Copyright anyone? Great song, by the way. So anyway, Resident Evil 7 does what I loved about PT. It felt completely new. It felt innovative. It felt intuitive because everything makes sense. But it still has that classic Resident Evil vibe with saves. Yes, it's not a typewriter, but actually right there. You save on a tape player, little cassette player, which I think is cool. So you still get that Resident Evil vibe. Um, you got the herbs you can take. You can combine things to make first aid kits and whatever. You have extremely limited ammo, although I think they give you a little more ammo than they would in past Resident Evil games. But still, that's the point. When you find ammo, you better cherish that ammo because they don't give you that much of it. And of course, then there's the keys and the locks and the puzzles. Those are still there, just in modern day format. I mean, I've said this in the past and I'll say it again. If you're a technology geek like myself, you need to adapt to change. And if you can't adapt to change, then maybe you shouldn't even be playing video games. Look at the Switch, everyone's up in the air. Ah, it's not a modern day console, it's not a, it's not a traditional console. Yes, I agree, Nintendo could have kept it even simpler, but I think they kept it simple enough where it's a console portable hybrid. And guys, honestly, at first I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know about this, a console portable hybrid. But then I saw the Switch trailer, you know, like three or four months ago, the uh, teaser. And I was like, okay, this actually looks really cool because I embrace change. I adapt to change. I welcome change. Because guys, come on, if everything stayed the same, wouldn't that be boring? That's, that's just playing it safe. So that's why I love Resident Evil 7. It has the classic Resident Evil vibe in certain regards, but overall, the big picture, it feels completely new, like mostly completely new, if that makes sense. So Capcom, I for one welcome everything you're doing. And by the way, the game is actually kind of challenging here and there. So I don't think it's like super easy. It takes planning. It takes very, let's just say it makes you be aware. And I love it for that. And it scares the crap out of me. Seriously, last night I had to pause it a couple times because I was playing in the dark, which by the way, these lights will be off. I'm gonna shut the blinds, turn the volume up, mute my phone because this game is atmospherically scary as hell. And not just even like the visuals, but the sound. Like I was underneath the house at one point in the water and it was freaking me the hell out. And the next thing you know, something moves in the water and I'm like, holy shit, this is scary as hell. So Resident Evil 7 does that very well. It scares you. And I can't even imagine how good it is in VR, which by the way, I will be getting at some point. All right, there you go. I've talked enough. Hey, less than five minutes, according to my little screeny screen. So Resident Evil 7, if you guys appreciate horror, do it. Get it right now. Do not listen to the naysayers because those naysayers, unfortunately, cannot adapt to change. Not everything can stay the same. And I'm not yelling at people when I say that. I'm not talking down to you. I don't know, some people think I'm offensive sometimes. Maybe I can be offensive, but I'm also realistic. I'm a tech geek, just like you. I expect things to change at some point. So with that said, let's make it dark. Never, ever play Resident Evil 7 in a well-lit room. That's just wrong. Seriously, it's wrong. You need to scare yourself. I'll leave it open for you, Mally. Only because it's getting dark in like 20 minutes.
Here we go. It's about 9 o'clock, guys. I am addicted. I love this game so much. I made a lot of progress. All right, so for anyone else who has played Resident Evil 7, I'm around the part where Margarita, or whatever her name is, she kicks me down the hole, and I pretty much ignite her with the flamethrower. By the way, Capcom, well done. The effects are great. And then I come back, her body's gone. I look down a tunnel, she's like made a, like a burrow, like like a very narrow tunnel, and she goes in like spider form, and she crawls away into the dark, it goes pitch black, then you turn your flashlight on. Such a cool presentation, and guys, I'm telling you, if you have surround sound, you need to play this game in surround sound. Headsets are one thing, but with physical speakers behind you, it completely changes the experience. I'm only in front of the TV right now because it's really dark back there. Anyway, I am really enjoying the game so far. Capcom has done a phenomenal job at scaring the hell out of me. And I'm currently watching Munchpack's live stream. That's the other ambassador. Very cool. It's finally dinner time, guys. Man. <laughs> Resident Evil 7 has a very special way of sucking me in. Totally worth the time now. And tonight's dinner? This shall be good. I've never had it before. Chicken and broccoli. Awesome. I've had the chicken alfredo plenty of times, but chicken and broccoli? First time, so first taste, coming up. Alexa, stop the music. Because it's time to eat. This looks good, but it's gonna look even better once I add the Velvita cheese. Look, it's like Canon 80 deception Instagram.com slash David Franco. Follow me if you're not doing so already. I appreciate it. That's my alarm. Thank you, thank you. Well, timer rather, not alarm. This is always the best part. Adding the cheese. I love Alveda cheese meals. They're really good. They don't have that cheap hamburger helper taste to it. Um, not that there's anything wrong with hamburger helper. I have it quite frequently. But if you're looking for something more high quality, Definitely go for the Velveeta brand. It's so good. But hey, if you hate cheese, then don't have this. There you go. Look at that close up. Probably just looks like slop to you guys, but believe me, it looks good in person. Extremely cheesy. First taste, here we go. This is a lot of work, by the way, vlogging with a DSLR. DSLRs are not meant for vlogging. But it looks great. I hope I like this, and if not, well, too bad, right? Too bad. I should like it though, come on, it's cheese, it's broccoli, it's rice, it's chicken, like, it should be good. Make sure I get some chicken, some cheese, some rice. They call it pasta, but let's just call it rice. That is hot. That is really hot. All right. It's very good. Not as good as chicken alfredo. That is my favorite Velveeta meal. But this, this is pretty damn good. Did I mention it's really cheesy? My dinner was okay. You know, the more I tried to convince myself and the more I had it, I was like, this isn't really that good. So I threw it out. Oops, all berries it is. This is a very good cereal. I'm watching The Office. It's actually been a while since I watched The Office because I finally finished Bates Motel last night. Awesome show. Season four, that is. Best season yet. Do you want to do that? Do you want to hit me? You want to punch me? I love this show so much. Boom. 4 a.m. I did it again. Maui, is it time for bed? It's time for bed, I said. But first, let's have more cereal. Shout out to my gaming crew tonight. We played a lot of GTA and a lot of Infinite Warfare. It felt really good to play Gun Game again. I haven't played that in weeks. Oh, and I made a lot of progress in Resident Evil 7. Did I tell you that already? I'm pretty sure I did. The point is, a lot of good gaming tonight. And tomorrow, I'm going to try to get some good progress in on uh, Pokemon Sun. Technically later today, if you want to go that route. All right, see you in the morning. Oh, look at my eyes. I need sleep. 
Stun game! Bye, Mal. What you doing? You looking outside? Come here. Hey. I know. It's so calm out there. It's 36 degrees. A little gloomy, but comfortable. Hello, everyone. I'm not even gonna say good morning because it's not morning. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Now it's 1.35. I woke up around like 9, 9.30 to go to the bathroom. I fell back asleep for a few hours, clearly. I woke up again, checked my iPad. It said one o'clock, exactly one o'clock. I'm like, holy shit. So I got up, got my shower. Do I regret staying up late last night? No, today's Saturday. The parentals aren't here all weekend. I don't really have plans because while well, this weekend is kind of just like a chill at home weekend. It's a me weekend. It's a David Franco Jr. kind of weekend, you know? Gaming, coffee, hangout tonight, probably go to Rudder's for dinner. Easy weekend, relaxing weekend, and that is okay with me. Man, I didn't go to bed till like 5.30 last night. Good times. There you go. We'll say it's not the best at autofocusing in low light, but it does its job well enough. And look, I am out of San Francisco Bay coffee. I finished it all. So I'm finally diving into my Wawa inventory from Christmas. I have dark roast and up here, excuse me, Memo, you're fine, you're fine. Up here, I have some regular blends as well. You know what? Let me start out with the regular. I don't need dark roast right now. Boom. Got plenty of coffee, but I will have to order more San Francisco Bay coffee very soon. And please ignore my stove. I'm gonna clean that today, I swear. All right, let's get my day started, even though it's pretty much two o'clock. I'm a little mad at myself for that, but I don't regret it because I had so much fun last night. Seriously, I have the best time in our GTA and Call of Duty games. Seriously, we have so much fun. All right, so, I promised my patrons I was gonna unbox this this past week. I never unboxed it. I got busy with other things. So I figured why not unbox it today for everyone. So this is a floating and rotating in midair globe. A good desk decoration. A good promotion gift. Oh, promotion gift, that's pretty, actually, that's a good idea. Like if you're going to some kind of event or like con, you could put this on your desk, give it away as a free gift, give it away or whatever. Okay, so this is basically a floating globe. Thanks to magnets. Magnets, bitch! Here's the globe. What I gotta say is very light. And you have the choice between blue, black, and gold. I went for the blue one because it's traditional. Earth is generally blue because it's mostly water. I right, put that right there. Think about that. Isn't that interesting that our planet is mostly made up of water? That's a lot of potential for land someday. Not that it's ever gonna be land someday, but just think about that. It's very, very interesting. All right, so here is the main piece. It's like an arch. Actually, if anything, it makes me think of uh, Star Trek. And there's the power input right there. Cool. Put that there for now. What is this? I don't know if we need this. It doesn't feel like foam but I'll put that there just in case. And of course, power adapter. All right, I'm gonna get this hooked up and we will do a real first impressions to see if the globe actually floats in midair. I'm excited. I just noticed the camera's really crooked, I'm sorry. There it is, and I forgot it lights up. So, here we go, wish me luck. Oh my God! Okay, how does it look on the picture? Wait, my mistake, my mistake. There is indeed a manual included, and this piece is necessary for it to work. So make sure you do not disregard this like I almost did. Here we go. I'm new to this whole floating globe thing, so give me a chance, all right? So take this piece, hold it up top. All right, so you hold the piece right there. Let it get its attraction going. And then in theory, pulling this out lets it float. 
There you go, that is cool. Okay, so it has to be on a flat surface, so in theory, when I pick this up, it should fall. Yep, not fall, but fall off place, rather. So again, you just gotta push this right there. There must be a magnet right here, or metal, rather. Very nice, that is cool. Now, it's not gonna stay here. It's probably gonna go in my living room or somewhere, but that's cool. And it spins if you tap it ever so slightly. See, look at that. I know, Mal. Isn't that neat? So I guess it is only one magnet up top. Yeah. Which makes sense, I suppose. Alright. That's enough for now. Yeah, there's definitely metal under here because of my desk. You can see it attracting, watch. It was attracting. Yep. All right, that's it. I'll link it right below. Shoot yourself. It's pretty cool, I swear. I'm just, I'm just an idiot sometimes. I am all caught up on emails, which makes me very, very happy. Mao Mao, you enjoying your food? I know, Maui, I'm sorry. It's a very boring and quiet weekend. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Believe me, I'm trying to keep things interesting for you guys. But look, the globe is looking great. It is floating in style. And spinning too. Pretty cool. I love it. I do. I do. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh. Work it. 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 It seems like every week I have to go food shopping. And I... I hate... Mm. I'm so close to ripping this camera strap off, I don't need it. It just gets in the way. I hate that mic noise, listen. Just bad design, Canon. I love you guys, I do. It's a cheap camera strap, I'm not, I'm not gonna be too harsh on it. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to go food shopping again. I'll probably get a Target tomorrow for like a few things, and then from there I'll turn right out into uh, Sheets, because I still have a Sheets gift card to use, which is amazing. But tonight I'm doing runners, like I said. This is not really a productive weekend for me. It's a fun weekend. It's a chill weekend. It's a weekend to play video games and drink twisted tea and hang out with my fellow patrons. Tonight, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a good time. And yes, I'm probably going to be getting a little drunk, just to warn you. But I'll have to be really careful because I've never vlogged with the Canon 80D and twisted tea in the same room. It's a little dangerous, guys. A little dangerous. But today's lunch is a rather riveting one. Soup. Hey, I love soup. Nothing wrong with it. And come on, who doesn't like chicken noodle? It's probably the most boring of soups in the world, but it's always good. Thank you, Ellie, for this. I love it. This game seriously messes with your head. My god, it's just so terrifying. The game really is that good. And before anyone judges me being scared or whatever, do what I do. Play it in surround sound with the volume up. Hearing shit right behind you is just scary as hell. All right, I need a mental break. I'm gonna make more coffee. And actually swap batteries. The camera's flashing at me. So good luck. I'm gonna pull it out of you and put something new in you. Let me know how it feels. And just like that, I'm back from Rudders. Got a cream soda, hide it behind the bag. Got mozzarella sticks. They're actually really good at Rudders. Except when I throw them all over the place. Four of them for two dollars, I don't think is a bad deal. Plus you get a side of marinara sauce. Come on, you little shit. There you go, there you go. And I got a personal pan pizza. God, I hate shadows. I hate them, hate them, hate them. Oh, baby. So it's like a personal pan pizza with buffalo sauce in there somewhere and little fried chicken strip pieces. Isn't that cool? Very nice. And I got coffee. I'll have that soon. But the coolest part about that whole trip was the fact that I was ordering food and the girl behind the counter, she's doing some food preparation or whatever. And she's like, so, what are you ordering tonight? And I don't know if she was talking to me, so I look up, I'm like, oh, um, I'm thinking pizza. And then the other girl's like, I figured, we've noticed you usually order pizza or something. And I'm like, yeah, I'm here a lot. She's like, hey, that means we're doing our job. We're doing a good job, right? I'm like, yeah, of course. It's official. Rudders knows who I am and they know that I am 
a runner's addict. It's kind of embarrassing, but kind of cool at the same time that they know me. I'm like two minutes down the road, one minute down the road. So obviously I'm gonna be there quite often, but hey, it's cool. I mean, my, my old Walla in Paulsboro knew, knew who I was. I was there all the time. So I guess this Rudders is gonna quickly learn who I am. Sheets, I don't know. I'm, I'm only there maybe once a week, maybe, because it's not as close as Rudders. But hey, there you go. My name's getting out there. Well, my face at least. I just thought that was worth sharing. So thank you, Rudders. Keep up the great work. All right, I'm gonna heat this up even more, get it nice and crispy, and watch a show on Netflix. I forget what it's called. Let me see, let me see. Can you believe I've had this TV since, I think, 2011? I think. I just know I've had it for a long time. All right, let me see what it's called, and you guys can let me know if it's good. Hold on, screensaver. It's called Colony. So, sounds interesting. And it's the guy who plays Sawyer in Lost. So that caught my attention. All right. Change of plans. I started watching Colony. I wasn't hating it. I gave it like maybe five to ten minutes, but I wasn't feeling it. So then I started thinking, wait a minute. I've been meaning to rewatch Breaking Bad from the beginning. And that's just what I'm doing. That was the pilot, season one, episode one. I love this show. It's so, so good. Hey, I went through Lost a while ago, so if I can get through Lost a second time, I can get through anything a second time. And Breaking Bad is one of those shows that I will gladly dedicate my time to go through again because it's that good. If you have not watched Breaking Bad yet, please do yourself a favor and at least watch the pilot. It's amazing. It really is. All right. It is 8.42. Almost time for the hangout. I might get some work done beforehand. With, of course, some runner's coffee by my side. You gotta love it. And then it's all about Twisted Tea. Shout out to my patrons. Well, Cheers right to everyone. Patrons hangout, January 2017. Cheers. 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 Alex, you said you got Twisted Tea. Where is it? It's in the refrigerator. Yeah, it should, it should be in your mouth. Oh, Alright, I have 11 more of these. Um, it is only 655 so. yeah. It's debatable. It. It's 955 here. Yeah? What's that, Anthony? Speaking of Twisted Tea, I found this today. Twisted Tea Cat. Yo! Dude, I need that. This is a big ass camera, isn't it, for vlogging? Nice. Vlog a tea vlog. It's a bit overkill. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Shout out to Mr. Bather. This this is a rare moment. There he is. What up, David? Greetings from Florida. It's cold? What is it, 60? Oh, you must be suffering. It's currently 30 here, yeah. All, all you damn Yankees. Just... Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's going down. Hmm, what shot glass should I have? I'll do one of these. I do love shot glasses. Fireball. Sorry for the low light. I'm all about that lighting. It comes out slow. Is it always this slow? Starting the shots early tonight. No, Guys! He gets so offended. He gets so offended when it comes to drinking. It's funny. I'm gonna have to enroll in AA. We love you, Jeff. Is that soda? Well, I just have water, so. Have come on, David. Come on. We gotta get you drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, guys, you ready? David, I'll make this really short. Okay, go ahead. Do it. To, go. To, cheers, everyone. To happiness, prosperity, and productivity. There you go. Damn, that was short and sweet. Thank you, Ellie. You too.
Cheers. Cheers. Next one. Oh, that is cold. Ooh, and it begins. Ooh. Tasty. Twisted tea number two. <laughs> oh my God. Sing. Cheers. I went to college in Ohio, so that's my Ohio connection. I actually went to college and worked there for a while, so I was there for a Nice. Great hangout so far. We are having some very interesting conversations. I'm feeling it already. I am. Oh, I need to eat something more. Oh, by the way, Rudder's Pizza and Mozzarella Sticks? Great dinner. Filling. But I'm hungry again. I might have Pringles. That's what it's all about, guys. If you drink, make sure you have substance. Otherwise, things will come up, and you don't want that. I want AirPods. Pay your mortgage? What? You pay this mortgage with Quibbits. Yeah. On Quibbits? I don't have a mortgage either. David has a mortgage. I have a mortgage now, yeah. Alright. We do? Since when, David? Since October 29th. Oh. <clears throat> I was in California when you started that. California. Cal good song. Alright. David Bather, I think you should do a shot. Damn it, David. That's cool. Respect. What? Just like then, what do you do in life if you don't drink? He doesn't know. He, I mean, he really doesn't. All right, you ready, so Ellie? Can I, say, can I say something real quickly? Yes, do it. Nothing, nothing major. I just want to give a shout out to all the people, who, to my friends who are not here right now, who are watching. Uh, my good friend Mary, my good friend uh, Dan Sarnucky, and anyone else that I might have forgotten. I miss you guys. Hopefully you'll be in here uh, shortly or whenever. And if I don't see you guys, have a good week. Have a healthy week. Have a productive week. To everyone here, cheers. Very nice, Ellie. And the night is young. We still have plenty of time for people to get in. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. That's why I said what I said. No, no, yeah. I until 5 o'clock in the morning. So they may not be able to hang here. That's funny. I just prank called Alex's sister. She didn't sound too pleased. Cheers. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. What'd you say? Hello, Snapchat. Yeah. What up, what up, what up? Zoom in. Nice. This is a very creepy. Oh, your sister is cute, Alex. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. She seems fun. She, yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. I scare people. That's great. Shout out to Kate and Jack Hyde Smith. who just joined recently. I don't know. They'll show them eventually. And Alexander. Let's me see. There you go. I just like to include as many people as possible. Next. I need more twisted tea. I'll be right back. Don't leave anyone. Hey, meow. Meow. You want food? Look at the floating globe. It looks so nice in the dark. It actually looks really nice. What? I heard my name. What? Oh, okay, you're being held hostage virtually. Whatever the hell that means. Meow. 
I'll feed you, Maui. Time to eat? Yeah. No, I didn't. So all these Pringles. I think your husband needs to be home, man. Why is this one the biggest one? That's Pringles-ism. Shout out to Joey. He's here. Joey, say hi to the vlog. He says hi in spirit. Joey. Joey. Yeah. Say, say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog dudes. My vlog dudes. There you go. It's wide angle, so it's it's like getting everything in frame. All right, Kate, you taking a shot? They're opposite. Kate. I think she's getting her shirt. Okay, Kaylee? I'm getting my shirt. You're getting your shirt? Autumn. What shirt? I don't know. Background. Hold on. This comes out so slowly. Look at this. Joey, you taking a shot? Yeah, I'm taking a shot of Zevia. The hell is that? Zevia, alright, whatever the hell that is. Alright, Kate, here we go. Wait, Kate, what, what is that? Huh? What is it? Me? Yeah. Whiskey? Okay. Kaylee, you taking a shot? I don't even know what I'm drinking. Oh, because it matters. Whiskey? Everything matters. Yeah. Details matter. Yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Ready? Go. Because you're not drinking alcohol, sir. Cheers, Kate. Yeah, that's like a double shot. Yeah, that's two. Good job. There you go, there you go. I'm a bad influence. And just like that, it is 5 a.m. I was up this late last night as well. Come on, ADD, you can do it. Good job, good job. But yes, good times tonight. And look, I only had four twists of tea and I think three shots. Not that bad. I learned to be responsible tonight. I didn't, I didn't get out of hand. I'm not even really like tipsy. I'm just tired. Numbers going up. I appreciate it, guys. All right, I'll see you in the afternoon, realistically. I need to get to bed. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, and I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I will not try to create my own song. Hey, Mau Mau. Oh, baby. Even with all that natural light behind you, Maui, the Canon ADD still does a good job at showing your details. <sighs> Guys, it's 1.36. I slept in like a mother. I didn't get to bed till like 5.30. So yeah, that's two nights in a row. Going to bed around 5.30. My sleep schedule lately sucks. But it's okay. It's okay. It's the weekend. It doesn't matter. Tomorrow, I'll start getting back to a more productive schedule. I know, Mal. I know. I'm telling you. It's tough. It's tough when you have a hangout, but seriously, it was a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone who could make it. And if you could not make it, I apologize. I really wish Google would increase the limit to at least 12 people. Currently it's 10, but it is what it is. And well, there's always next month. Do you mind, sir? No, all right, whatever, whatever. What is his deal? All right, I'm gonna enjoy some coffee. Watch episode two of Breaking Bad. Get a head start on editing this vlog. That way I have more free time tonight for Resident Evil 7 and whatever. And I still have work to do on my personal website. So I'm not going to be vlogging too much today. But I'll be vlogging enough. And I'm excited to import this footage into Final Cut Pro 10 in like an hour once this episode's done. Um, I'm just very curious to see what the quality looks like. And how the audio sounds. Because let's face it. Audio is more important than video. Usually. It's nice to get outside. I'm all caught up on the weekend vlog. You should be around like the 58 or 59 minute mark. Just watch an episode of The Office. I'm gonna play some RE7, wrap up this vlog, go to Target, go to Sheets, come back, finish editing this vlog, and then do whatever, get some work done. Sorry, it's gonna be a much shorter vlog than usual, but hey, it's still an hour long, but that's good. And just for the record, if you like hour long vlogs, you should check out my Patreon. Um, exclusive vlogs like you know the patrons only vlogs you will see a link to those vlogs at least at least a trailer at the end of this video on my answer listen hear that i love that okay so i am in need of some clarity today and i have not tried this one the zen monk so here we go
Mmm. That actually tastes really good. I like that. Minty. Oh, look at Maui. He is straight up chilling. He wants to come out of here so bad, and he's not going to. Maui, stay inside. Get, 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 get. Come on. Good boy. Daddy's out there smoking. No, not really. I just wanted some fresh air and to try the monk. Seriously though, this is pretty good. Love that. And don't forget, it's completely organic, completely natural. This is not bad for you whatsoever, but that's enough for today. And then you simply put it back in the case. Boom. Close it up, keep it protected. You gotta love it. Again, thank you, Monk. This is really cool. Well, that was fun. I just made a ton of progress in RE7. A ton of progress. Just when you think the game is over, they throw you into like an entirely new environment, different character. It's really cool. I'm not done yet, but I can tell I'm extremely close to the ending. Unfortunately, I'm not going to beat it in this vlog, but I will be talking about it in the Pigeons Only vlog as well as the next weekend vlog. I just started my car, warming it up a bit, and going to Target. It's already almost 8 o'clock. Resident Evil has a special way of just sucking me in, but it is well worth my time. Just an incredible experience all around. Not perfect, because I'm very critical. There's definitely a few areas that Capcom could have improved on, uh, but I'll talk about those little improvements later so anyway guys i am done with this weekend vlog let me know did you like the canon add now keep in mind i understand vlogging with it isn't exactly realistic but you gotta admit the quality is very nice the audio like i said in the very beginning of this vlog is a little muddy when i'm behind the camera because again this is a shotgun microphone the audio is meant to be right in front of the camera when you're using a shotgun microphone. Whereas if I turn it around, you'll hear my voice is suddenly faint. Testing, 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 testing. See, it's pretty cool. I don't know, it's interesting to me. So guys, let me know, would you like me to use the EDD for future vlogs? Not all future vlogs, because this thing is really heavy. I'm not sure how other vloggers use the EDD every day, but hey, props to them if they do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a very productive week, and of course, patrons, I will be recording the beginning of another exclusive vlog starting tomorrow, Monday. Guys, have an awesome week. Be productive. Kick ass in the process. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.